gonna get really funky. We're gonna do the guys' sleds on the far end, the girls' sleds here, and then we're, if you get auto-timed, we're gonna auto-time you in the middle. We're gonna go 30 with a sled, 30, 30 with a sled on either wing, and then you're gonna, after your sled, you're gonna come to the middle on your three to five minutes rest, and you're gonna run a time 30 down the middle. You'll pick up a chip, and Brendan will get you down the middle. And we're gonna alternate back and forth. So if you're going, if you're gonna get a sled, you're gonna go 30 with a sled, 30 back with a fly, an XL, right? 30 with a sled, you're alternating. It's eight total. I kind of like running inside. I mean, I don't like, because I don't like the rain, so. It was raining yesterday. I, my hair didn't appreciate it. So. This cone, we're gonna accelerate to that second cone, and you're gonna float through the curve, and then about 15 meters through the doors. You're gonna hit one more time, and it's probably a little less than 30 meters on the last pickup. We're gonna do two, we're gonna separate it by like seven to eight minutes. So when we use the sleds is just to help them feel um, pushing um, and pushing hard. Uh, sometimes when kids try to accelerate, especially high school kids, young kids, um, they're quick and not so much like powerful. So that's what we use the sled for and then we kind of take the sled off and let them fly a little bit and hopefully they can take that rhythm and that feeling into something faster. What do you get with a fly, a car, and a pet? What do you get with a fly, a car, and a pet? Flying carpet. <laughs> Thank you.